So after 10 days in a row of green candles for Bitcoin, we finally got the first pullback in two weeks, basically, right? <laughs> Guys, relax. We literally just had 10 days in a row of bullish movement in Bitcoin. It is not the end of the world to have a couple red days. However, Ethereum is not done. Actually, it's just getting started. Ethereum has been up all weekend and we finally broke above this level, which we spoke about on Friday's video, by the way. And we are off to the races. Remember guys, my target here, we'll talk about it. Off to the races, we'll continue. So in today's video, we will be looking at both Bitcoin and Ethereum charts, and I will be giving you guys my price prediction and my price target for Ethereum now that we have broken out above $2,500. Guys, expect more bullish movements in Ethereum. Let's jump into the video. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful in investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you, the community, with the knowledge and resources to take your wealth up to that next level. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. It helps us out a ton, guys. So let's jump right in. So on Friday's video, we gave you guys a couple of trade setups for the weekend. So let's go over them really quickly. The first one we gave you guys was this one right here, which was a entry on a breakout of $41,000 for Bitcoin. If you guys would have entered that on the break of 41K, you would have been able to write it up to right around 42,600 more or less. So that would have been about a 38% profit on that trade. The second trade we gave you guys was on the break of 42,000 and we did get that break guys. The much talked about break above 42. However, it was a false breakout unfortunately on that one. You know, a lot of times the first time that it tries to break out, a lot of times it could be false breakouts. We've seen it We've seen it many times. We see it all the time. So, I mean, I'm not too worried about it. We'll talk about it more in this video, but that still would have been about a 15, 16% profit if you entered on the break of 42 and wrote it up to the top there. Now, of course, the best trade that we gave you guys from Friday's video was this one right here in Ethereum. Like we said, we expect prices in Ethereum to go up leading up to August 4th update. And that's exactly what happened over the weekend. So although Bitcoin was red, Ethereum was not. It has kept going up and it pushed to a high of basically $2,700. So this trade would have got you about 80% profit if you used 10x leverage on this trade. And guess what? You could have entered this trade again this morning and been writing it up to about the 2650 area. So another profitable trade if you took that same entry. If you missed any of these trades, do not worry because today in this video, we're going to give you guys some more trade setups that we will be watching to take throughout this week. Let's dive right into the analysis. All right, so looking at the Bitcoin chart, you'll see that we had the most bullish candle that we have seen since April, guys. So this is in April, we had a candle, a weekly candle of 15%. And we haven't seen anything like that since then. Last week's candle, Bitcoin's price was up 12%, guys. And the week before that, 11%. So it has been one hell of a ride since this last dip below 30K here. So it's been a great two weeks. Hopefully we're going to see a continuation here um, with this week's candle. And for the continuation here, we need to see the confirmed breakout above $42,000. So you'll notice a couple things. You'll notice, first of all, that we got rejected, obviously, at 42K. We went up as high as 42605 So we almost got there. We just did not have enough volume. 
Now, why didn't we have enough volume? Well, because this was late Friday and going into Saturday. So over the weekends, there's always less volume than throughout the week. So there's, there's more money moving than throughout the week. So without enough volume, it's hard to break above big areas, right? So big resistance areas. We already know that 42,000 is a very, very big resistance area. You can see that it was a previous all time high here. And you see that it took us a while to get above that 42,000 area the first time we got to it, right? And now we've kind of been stuck in that same area. Look at this sense. Since May, we've been stuck and consistently rejected at 42K and every time it's taken us lower and lower and lower, right? Now this time, it looks like we broke out of this right here. You see, this was a descending resistance line and this is a confirmed breakout above that resistance line. So now we need this to break through. Now, a pullback today is perfectly healthy, perfectly normal. So I'm not worried about that. What, but what we do need is to have this breakout sooner than later in order to confirm and continue up to that 50K range. If we do not, if we're not able to break above that, we have this descending resistance line here that's been rejecting us for a while. And now it's there with the 42K Fibonacci level and the 100 day daily moving average. And it's all kind of there together. And it's what's rejecting us right now from that level. So we will definitely need a push here with volume to get above this area. Let's zoom into the daily chart now. On the daily, you will see exactly where we were rejected there right at that resistance, right where the combination of this descending resistance plus the Fibonacci level, plus we can pull up this 100 day moving average here and you'll see that that's also causing us rejection. So it's all kind of together there. There's just so many things going on in this one little area right now, which is why the prices are struggling here. You'll also notice that we were oversold here on the daily chart and we were also oversold on the four hour chart here. You can see how oversold we were here and you can see there has been a bit of a bearish divergence here on the four hour chart as the uh, RSI has been going down while the price was going up. So that basically means that we were running out of steam because we've been going up for so long, which is why we needed a break. We needed some sort of pullback to reset the RSI and get it back in sync with the price so that we can continue up higher. So this is all part of a healthy market structure, guys. Nothing to fear as of this point. The supports right now below the current level that we're at is $38,000, which we already tested today. And we got a bounce back up and over the low of the day by about $1,000. So you'll see now the, the four hour chart, we're back in neutral zone here. On the daily, we're also back in that neutral zone. As you guys can see, we're no longer oversold on any of those. So we just need them to get back in sync and we should expect to see a continuation to the upside here, especially once we break that 42K level. So that's the level that we still need to break through. And I still expect the same exact thing, guys. I believe that once we finally get that confirmed breakout above 42K, we'll see something similar to these candles here when we got that breakout above 35. So you'll see how, how we got rejected, rejected, rejected a bunch of times here at 35 and then finally confirmed it over here, right? That's exactly what we could potentially see here. We could see a few days of rejections here before finally getting that breakout up and above where we can continue and expect to see, like I said earlier, 46 to $50,000 is my price target once we get that confirmed breakout with a volume here. You can see here as far as open interest in these areas, once we can clear this area here, there is nothing here. So there's this is basically a gap. All of this area is a gap here. So we can expect once we break out of here to go at least to this area right here, 
that's around right around that $47,000 area and potentially just continue up to 50,000 at that point. That's where there's the most interest here. That's also where we will find a uh, the next Fibonacci level and the, the top of this range up here. All right, so let's take a look here at the Ethereum chart. As you guys can see on this weekly chart here, last time we broke above this level here, look at what the weekly chart was. Look at this guys. This was a 27% move. Last week in Ethereum, we had a 16% move. And this week, we could potentially see this go up to the top of this range, right? So the price up here is $3,000. That would be the top of this current range here. And if we were to break out of this range and get into this range up here, which is what this candle was here, then the top of this range would be $3,500. So we could potentially see a move here in Ethereum this week, go up to that 3000 level and then potentially see it go up even higher to that $3,500 area you can see how the volume here just kind of drops off a cliff right here and that's right above that 2800 area so if we are to get above 2800 then for sure we're going to hit 3000 and if we can hit 3000 then look at this look at the volume over here guys there's there's almost no volume there so we could literally have a run up from 2800 all the way up to around 33 to 3500 dollars in ethereum possibly this week there is a lot of bullish sentiment in the market because of the ethereum update that's coming on wednesday august 4th now one thing to of course be aware of is a sell the news event so just how if you're taking trades make sure you're setting up stop losses if you're taking short-term trades if you're, if you're just in a long-term position, then don't worry about it because that shouldn't last very long if it happens at all. This update is supposed to burn Ethereum tokens now going forward. So I don't know why it would be a sell the news type of event, but as you know, in crypto and just in all markets overall, sometimes things that don't make sense happen. So we have to at least be aware of these possible situations. So that would be something that could potentially happen on uh, Wednesday or going into Thursday, the day after the event, or it could even just right before leading up to it. So I'm definitely expecting a lot of volume here over the next few days. I'm expecting the price to continue pumping. And again, my price target here is $3,000. And I believe if we can get above $3,000, we have basically a clear shot at $3,500. So we'll, we will continue to watch here as it develops and, and go from there. Alrighty guys, so let's jump into what you're probably all waiting for, which is some trade setups that we're going to be watching this week to make some profits. Before we jump into that though, I need you guys to smash that like button guys. If you guys enjoy this video, smash the like button, it helps us out a ton and it only takes you a few seconds and best of all it's free so now that you've liked the video right let's jump into these trade setups so this week's trade setups are pretty much going to be the same as fridays right since we're kind of in the same level here so we're going to be watching for a breakout above forty-two thousand, and we're going to be watching for a bounce back trade at thirty-eight thousand. In between, you can take 40,000 entry if you like. Uh, I'd just be risking a lot less on that trade, but it is a, a possible trade. There's just a lot of movement there at this time, so I might not be taking that trade, but I'm still not 100% sure on whether or not I'm going to take it if I see it. But the $42,000 and $38,000 trades, I will be taking both of those. Also, uh, for a short position, if prices fall below 38,000, you could open up a short trade um, on Bitcoin because below 38,000, we could potentially see 36 and $35,000. So that's definitely a, a trade idea there as well for Bitcoin. In Ethereum, the next trade that we're watching for here is 2,700. 
And then we're also going to be taking a trade above 2800 as we spoke about you saw the drop off in uh, open interest once you got above that level so that should be a good level to open up a trade as well and then of course the final level that will be setting up some entries in are above three thousand dollars which could trigger a you know a shootout all the way up to around that thirty five hundred dollar range so that's definitely a, another breakout entry that we're going to be watching. Now on any pullbacks, the level that we're watching here for pullbacks is $2,500 this week in Ethereum. We are very bullish on Ethereum this week, so we will be risking a little bit more than usual, probably around that 3% range on each trade that we're taking um, in Ethereum. And on, on Bitcoin, any trade below 42K, we're only risking 1%. Above 42K, then we're willing to open it up a little bit more to 2 to 4%. So that's pretty much it, guys. We covered everything we wanted to touch on for today to get you guys ready for this week. Hopefully, we get another big green candle in both Bitcoin and Ethereum and just in the overall market. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, if you enjoyed it, smash that like button for us. Drop a comment for us as well with your thoughts and any ideas you have, any questions, because it helps us out a ton with the algorithm as we're trying to continue to expand this channel to a larger audience. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you guys so much. I will see you on the next video. Let's make some profits this week. Thanks again. As always, peace and love.